The following program contains themes and scenes not suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Greetings, fellow mentors, and mabuhay sa inyong lahat. Welcome to the new episode of Virtual Reporting, only here on CONSOL TLE2. CONSOL stands for Continuous Study Via Online. For today's episode, Desiree and I will discuss the farm implements and farm equipment. So without further ado, let's get started. So let us first define what is farm implements. So as we all know that the farm implements, so these are the accessories which are being pulled by working or it could be by animals. Uh, for example, nowadays, uh, they are using a tractors that are extensively, though there are some places in somewhere uh, far flung areas, uh, it could be uh, they use a carabao or a manual method. So these uh, farm implements or this type of accessories are meant and append appendages to mechanize machinery and add more value to that place, that piece of machinery. Implements when added allow the machine to be used for the different types of usages. So what are those the uh, Farm implements do we have do we have so we have here a number one, which is the harrow This Accessories, okay is an implement for breaking up smoothing out of the surface of the soil now this is the ideal for larger beds of soil because it covers more rows than digging bar, spading fork, or even hoe. No? Harrowing is often carried out on fields to follow the rough finishing left by plowing operations. So the purpose of this is, in general, to break up the clods lumps of soil and to provide a finer finish a good tilt or soil structure that is suitable for said seed bed use. No, this is commonly types in the Philippines. So we have here the spike tooth harrow and the comb tooth harrow. So the next one here is the plow. When we say plow, it is known as the araro. Plow and harrow would be the same, but when it comes different mechanism, it's different. Why? Uh, the ha the plow is has a deeper tillage rather than the uh, harrowing because harrowing is not uh, suitable for the deeper tillage kasi so yun ang ano yun ang primary purpose ni primary purpose ni plow is to deeper tillage all right so it, it, it is a large farming implement with one or more blades fixed in a frame drawn by a tractor or by animals and used for cutting furrows in the soil and turning it over, especially to prepare for the, as I said, planting of seeds. So that is a plow. Next, we have here the harvester. In farming, harvester is any several of machines for harvesting. This is the design and function of harvester to varies uh, widely according to crop. No? Harvester is an implement that can hand drawn or dikaya it could be a tractor to harvest crops. A modern version of this implement is the combined harvester, which combines the steps of harvesting, threshing, and winnowing in one process. So the next one we have here is the seeder. Seeding machine and planting machines are technological marvels al allowing the most fundamental farming procedures to be done with an ultra precision digging hose, planting seeds and covering them up with soils. Drawn or pushed across the field, this implements sowing seeds or sow seeds at the proper seeding at the rate and depth. Seeders, or this is known sometimes called drills, and planters, regardless whatever type it is, it's operate the same basic fashion. Both machines utilize double and triple sealed bearing to prevent debris disc openers, to smooth edges and dig trenches, gauge wheels to set, seed depth, 
and rotate the seed plate and closing this to cover the seed with the soil. Next, we have here the rice planter. Rice planter, this is all known as a rice transplanter. It consists of prime mover transmission engine float or large wheels, seedling tray, seedling tray shifter that a pick up or pick up for, which is to drawn or attached to a motor that is an implement transplant when it comes to uh, seedlings of rice onto paddy fields. It is a walk behind rice transplanter using a mat type nursery and it is transplant of seedling uniformly without damaging them. So the next one we have here the rotivator. Another implement used for tillage is design feature smaller blades that can pulverize big clumps of soil. Just like a harrowing, it makes a finer the soil. So this rotivator is a powered machine that using rotating blades to prepare the land and provide the best soil condition by preventing and controlling pest invasion and crop diseases. So this manipulation and preparation of the soil requires the use of multi-purpose farm implement like rotivator that mechanically pulverizes cuts, mixes, and levels of the soil in a single pass. So there will be a quiz game, which is name the thing. Name the thing for the following pictures as you shown on the screen. You only have 5 seconds to answer it. Are you ready? Okay, here's the picture number 1. The answer, that's Rotivator. The answer, that's Cedar. The answer, that's Harrow. For today's video, I will be discussing about farm equipment. But before that, I will show you a video. Magtanim ay bibiro, maghapong nakayo ko, di man lang makaupo, di man lang makatayo. Paso ko'y namamanhid, paywang ko'y nangangawit, hindi ko'y naminitid. Sa pagkababad sa tubig, sa umaga pagkising, Lahat iisipin kung saan may patanim May masarap na pagkain Praso ko'y namamanhid Paywang ko'y nangangawit Pinti ko'y namimitig Sa pagkababad sa tubig So now, what did you observe? Very good farming Now, let us proceed to the discussion Our objectives at the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify appropriate farm equipments according to requirements or use. Now, what is farm equipment? Farm equipment, these are the machine used in crop production. They are used in land preparation and in transporting form inputs and products. These equipment need a highly skilled operator to use. There are 14 farm equipments. First is tractor. An engineering vehicle designed to hold trailers or machineries in the farm. The plow and harrow are attached to the tractor during training. So, ito yung ginagamit para magbungkal ng lupa. Before, there are using animals like carabao or baka to pull. But now, there are using tractor is an advanced machine to less effort. There are two types of tractor. First is hand tractor. The second one is four-wheel tractor. So this is the example of hand tractor. And this is the four-wheel tractor. So the, the most common tractor used in organic farm is the hand tractor because it is minimal contribution to soil compaction. Next is knapsack sprayer. 
It is a hand-operated sprayer carried in a pack. It is attached to a hose and nozzle that controls the amount and direction of spraying. So, it is used to water crops or apply organic pesticides. Ito yung sprayer na pampaalis ng mga insects sa halaman. Sti Brewer. It is equipment used to extract beneficial microorganism from compost. Convert it to liquid form for better absorption. Yung isang uri na proseso na gamit compost. Brewer at tubig sa pag-extract ng ano, beneficial microorganism tulad ng mga bacteria, punchay, at iba pa. Agricultural shredder. It is operated by fuel or electricity. It cuts down the size of any material that goes through it. Then, treasure. It is the harvesting equipment for grains. It separates the grain from the straw. So, ito yung sinaseparate. For example, yung pala, iba yung labasan ng mga grains. Iba din yung labasan ng mga dahon. And next is chainsaw. It is a portable mechanical saw with rotating blades typically used to cut two three pieces of wood. So, ito, I think it is familiar yung ginagamit ng putol ng mga puno. Next is mower. Mower is a powered equipment with revolving blades that cut grass into a uniform height by running over it. So, makikita din ito sa, ano, sa school yung pag masyadong mataas na yung grass pinuputol na nila with cultural motors. It is a machine that converts fuel or electricity into mechanical energy. It is used to run other farm implements and equipments. So, itong agricultural motor, motor ginagamit ito sa mga ano, kagaya ng implements na seder or tinatawag sa atin na kung bigli, everything. So, ginagamitan nila ng motor para gumana. The next is water pumps. Power equipment that moves water from the source to the fields. It is useful components in irrigation. So, just like for example, yung farm nila, kulang ng tubig. So, ginagamitan nila ng water pumps para kumuha ng tubig sa kanal at ilipat sa kanilang farm na naubusan ng tubig or kulang ng tubig. Next is generators. Machine that produces electric energy in the form of voltage and current by converting mechanical energy. This is only portable generator in case of emergency na kailangan nila sa farm. Cart. Cart is a vehicle with either two or more four wheels pulled by a truck and mop. It is used for carrying heavy farm objects such as soil, compost, reduce sacks of feed. Barrow. It is a hand-driven vehicle typically used to transport Heavy objects, example, soil, compost, tools, feeds in the farm. So I think it is also familiar. The last is service vehicle. It is any vehicle used to get from one spot in the farm to another. It can also be used in transport goods produced by the farm to trading posts. So ito na yung ginagamit nila in case na ibenta na nila yung mga palay or gulay. So now, based on your understanding, what is the importance or, shall we say, advantage of farm equipments? Yes, it has helped make farming easier and more efficient. That's all.